What is up all my Coaster Maniacs out there? And as you can see from Titan, I'm here at Six Flags here today. I just came from work and I'm in overflow again. First time I ever came in the overflow since Fright Fest. So I'm back here again and park does not close until nine. So I'm gonna make sure I get the day out of the way with it and see what's up and also as you can see right there you can see some viva la fiesta they're getting ready hey 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 so yeah anyway yeah i'm here to at least ride when i can because it is super busy today so anyway but i am going to give you all some general park updates including some construction updates on the kids ride so I know I have not been keeping up with the kids' rides that much, okay? I'm so sorry about that, but I'm gonna give you all an update today. So, anyway, I'm trying to make up for what I can with this crowd. So, anyway, yeah, we're gonna see what we can do, okay? So, come along for the ride, and we will see y'all inside. Okay, so I'm currently past security right now, and I never gotten the chance to say it on this vlog here. So they got one of those new cash to car kiosks. So if you're one of those people who are like coming out, out from town, like where you come from and stuff like that, and you had the feeling that you brought cash to an amusement park and stuff like that, they have one of those machines where you can like get cash on a card however you call it like that so anyway i'll see y'all in the park i'm just about to get my card scan and i'll see y'all the end Alrighty, y'all so we are in the park right now and boom we got new park maps here so so for the new park maps there will be a separate little video coming soon to my channel where i break down everything what has changed, what has not changed, and everything else. So be on the lookout for a little video breaking down the new for 2024 map in case y'all want to know what is new and what is changed coming to the park this year. So stay tuned for a little video about that. Let's get right into some updates. Alrighty, so I am over here at the site where you go to Roller Coaster Coffee at. It's in this little area right here. So over here, as you're seeing on the camera right now, this is where Daffy Duck Bucket Blasters will be going at. So this is actually really neat. So all in this little area here, yeah, yeah, in this little plot of land, this is where Daffy Duck Bucket Blasters will have its new home at. And then over where the markers are at over there, this is where Sylvester and Tweety's, oh my gosh, focus. Yeah, this is where Sylvester and Tweety's Pounce and Bounce is going to be at. So those markers there, that's where they're gonna be going. So I believe they're all gonna be together as for what I could see. Yeah, I think they're all gonna be together so yeah i think this pathway is pretty much gone at this rate so anyway or maybe maybe not i don't know hopefully it'll be there still but yeah so as for right here this is where daffy duck Beckett blasters is going and over there in this corner that is where sylvester and tweety pounce and bounce is going to be at so there's your kids rides updates still some long ways to go with construction but yeah stay tuned for more park updates coming soon to coaster floyd and as we venture our way into bugs bunny boomtown you can swing on over to the right remember there used to be a big wall over here well it's pretty much gone at this rate so yeah they you can actually see that it's all open and everywhere else and you can actually see the cars it is much cleaner now, so much better. I kind of like it, but I kind of wish it would have got more with the waterfall feature. Guess what's back? The France site is back. Yes, finally. 
we have finally seen the return of France. Finally. Thank you all for bringing the sign back. Thank you all. This is awesome to see again. So we got the sign back. This is awesome. And of course, as we make our way near Crazy Horse Saloon, you can see on the map, they have updated it. So the 2023 map is now out and now the 2024 map is is out now for everybody to see and also pineapples that is still on there take it off y'all we have just made it our way over to the texas area of the park as you can see for texas giant come over here you can literally see a lot of the chaparral cars now they cleaned it all up look at this Woo, look at it you can actually see the car is so much better for this view over here and of course they are in fact getting ready for the dinosaurs so look at it they gotta get all the stuff all ready up for the summer so in case you, all of y'all did not know the dinosaurs are coming to chaparral antique cars with dino off-road adventure so as as y'all if y'all seen on the map yeah the dinosaurs are officially coming to the park this summer so yeah we have no idea when construction will start over here but i'm hoping it'll be very soon so stay tuned for future updates on the chaparral antique cars with the whole dinosaur transformation Alrighty, so we have actually made our way over to rodeo at this rate so why have we come to rodeo well i need you to see what you're seeing right now the lights up top are now a thing now and over here too and of course while you are riding this ride they have now have onboard audio on this ride so yeah very cool so we just whenever i get the time i will record the audio for y'all while the ride is going so stay tuned for the audio okay so i don't think the music is going on at the moment though so yeah yeah rodeo they got some good stuff lights and more lights up there so that is awesome so anyway let's move along and see what else we can see and as we venture our way in the boom town you can see that their portable bar which is going shut up okay so okay <laughs> so boom town bar the portable bar is what was right there is now going on so it's open but it is currently going on right now while the one over here is still under construction for a permanent structure so yeah over here yeah uh, yeah if you're interested them town bar is open go get it do my ice this evening abby's is open so if you're interested for a cookie come get some cookies at abby's Alrighty y'all, so as you can see, Texas Sky Screamer is officially open for this season. We have been, I've been waiting for this to reopen for some time now, and it has returned. So if you want to fly, go fly up 400 feet. Sky Screamer is officially open for the season. All 
party. So I think that may be all the updates that I got. Oh yeah, so special events. So if I, I'm pretty sure y'all are familiar about the eclipse that's coming up on April 8th. So at Six Flags Over Texas, they will be having a solar eclipse. Oh, look at that, Aquaman is going. So yeah, on April 8th, uh, no, solar eclipse will be happening here at Six Flags Over Texas. So it does get a bit pricey here. So where I am, right over here at the Majestic Theater, this is one of the viewing spots that you are going to get for the solar eclipse. But that's not the only thing that's gonna happen. They will have fireworks and a drone show. So yeah, so, so yeah, fireworks and a drone show will be also taking place on Solar Coaster, which is actually the name of the event that the Solar Eclipse is gonna be happening on. So tickets are on sale now, but if you wanna go fancy and otherwise, they will be doing a Solar Eclipse and fireworks showing on top. I don't know if you can, uh, <laughs> let me get up closer. So anyway, <laughs> such a fail for me for showing you all some stuff. Oh my gosh, so yeah, if I could see it better. Okay, the oil derrick over there, that is gonna be where the VIP showing is gonna be at. So if y'all wanna see the eclipse, fireworks and drone show up on the tower yeah i find getting the 86 dollars so i'm not kidding that is really what it costs so anyway if y'all want some extras here not only that y'all will get the glasses and the commemorative lanyard but if y'all want to get some extras y'all can get a button and a t-shirt so anyway I got the button in the t-shirt package, so I'm all good with that. So, yeah, that's good. So, yeah, so that will explain everything for what I posted on the community guideline. Well, no, yeah, not on the community guideline. Community posts on my channel. So, anyway, yeah, full eclipse coverage is coming soon to Custer Floyd. Yeah, I am going to be giving y'all some good coverage from the event. So, I'm super excited to see it. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure y'all are excited to see it too, as much as I am. So, it is on a Monday, so not a lot of y'all who aren't going to be available to come see the clubs here. Don't worry, I will cover whatever y'all, whatever I can to cover everything. So, that's all that I'm going to cover. So, that is some news about the solar eclipse here at Six Flags Over Texas. Monday, April 8th. Get tickets now at sixflags.com and I'll see you there. Alrighty, so I got my first ride of the afternoon in New Texas Giant. Fun ride. It is always going to be a fast one. Love it. So, yeah. Yeah. It's always going to be like this. So, yeah. Let's head on over to Titan. Look at what they got here that I got from the Texas Giant gift shop. They got one of those new pins that has the old Six Flags logo on there. I got it from the Texas Giant shop. And speaking of the Texas Giant shop, look what we got here. The photos are back on Texas Giant. They are back. So yeah, the whole photo package that yes the texas currently has going on they are basically getting it ready so that's actually awesome yeah so yeah i'm actually looking forward to see what they are going to do next and hopefully whenever we get over to titan i sure hope they got this ready too so we're going to head on over to titan and we'll check up on you with a bit wow i really love how the sun is coming up in there so yeah, here we are at Titan. Yeah, on Planet Coaster, I made this 353 feet. Yeah, 
<laughs> I know it's not a giga but I had to make the fun of it on Planet Coaster. So yeah, we're gonna be riding the non-giga version of Titan. Let's go. And just like back on New Texas Giant, the Titan also now has on-ride photos again. So happy to see those come back to life. And as you can see, as we are waiting for a ride on Titan, you, you can see, you yeah, you can see that they've actually repainted some stuff in the station. Even the arrows, all repainted, nice and clean. Ain't nothing better than a backseat ride on Titan. Such an awesome ride, such an awesome rush. But you know what's not awesome? This line is nuts, okay? Yeah, I'm the one who has all season flash pass here. Yeah, ultimate. So yeah, so yeah, if you're thinking about getting flash pass, please go for ultimate, ultimate. That is actually a pretty good one. And we are here at Shockwave right now. So anyway, yeah, look at the line there. Pretty long, but luckily for me, on the other hand, I got me flash pass. And it is reserved. Let's go ride. Yeah. Y'all should get flash pass next time, people. Let's go ride. Got this amazing shorts cop done. Look at that. Approved. So anyway, <laughs> it's always going to be a fun shorts cop. Even when you're riding in the back. Whoa. So yeah. So it's a fun ride. And yeah, it changes. Goodbye, buy me again. Yeah, so, and it's gonna come in. There we go. Very nice, okay. So let's head on over to Gotham City and get Freeze out of the way. And Batman, and I've already gotten done with my five main priority rides to go over for today. So let's head over there. Alrighty, so I'm here at Freeze right now. And while I was waiting on getting scammed from my flash pass, they got music going. Yeah, so Freeze finally has music playing in either the station or the queue line. So, or maybe both. That's awesome. Talk about some extra steaming enhancements. This is awesome. Okay. Keep up the good work, guys. This is awesome. Alrighty, got Freeze out of the way. Fun ride. Yeah, forwards launch never gets old, y'all. So now, where we're heading to next is Batman. Let's roll. All right, I got Batman done. Fun ride. In the back row, outside seat, never gets old. So anyway, I am on my way to fly sky high. I, and of course, if one of y'all are guessing Dad Bomber, nope. It is that ride, Sky Screamer. Let's go fly. And of course, as we are continuing, <laughs> as we are continuing on the trend for like uh, refurbishments in stations and whatnot, yeah, just like Titan, they have repainted the spots for Texas Sky Screamer. Now you can actually see where you're supposed to go and everything. That's awesome. I really do appreciate all the improvements that this park is doing. Awesome work, guys. Alright, so I just got done with Texas Sky Screamer. Fun ride. And as you can see, I'm going through the tunnel, and that means judge is open again. So anyway, let's go take a ride on one of my favorite wooden coasters in Texas. Let's ride. Judge Roy Scream. You gotta give some great love for Judge Roy Scream. Best relaxed, well, yeah, best smoothing back row ride I've gotten on Judge. Such a fun ride. Really, really enjoy it. So, yeah. Such an amazing out and back wooden roller coaster. And now, the next ride I'm gonna be going is I'm gonna go get a score on the Justice League. Let's go get a score. Justice League. Let's go get our scoring, baby. Yeah. Really love this ride. Oh, there goes Aquaman there. Doing its own thing. 
And that will be our next ride after this. Because, of course, for just like back from Metropolis, you cannot ride when you are wet. So that's why I'm doing this first. And then after that, I'm heading to Aquaman. Such an amazing ride. I love it. Look at that. Let's go right to sleep. 785,600. Got a new best, baby. Ooh. The last best I've gotten was back in January, but I just beat my score, my last big score. What now, baby? Yeah. Again, if you want to learn ways on how to be good on Justice League, follow Savage Mister. He made videos on how to be good at Justice League. Yeah, just, just take a look at it, okay? If you want to be better watch his videos so anyway i'm currently waiting on a flash pass reservation for aquaman i'm gonna go do something else to wait it out see you then and as we are making our way into smith street you can see that ice cream shop and i'm proud to present y'all that blue bell has officially returned to smith street ice cream parlor so if y'all are a big fan of this amazing ice cream brand be sure you stop by the ice cream parlor and get a scoop today my word never underestimate the uncle man here got what oh my gosh so it's it's always gonna be a great water ride to go on my gosh i love it such a fun water coaster so now we are on our way to Spelunker land. And I am cold. I am wet. Oh my word. I am cold. <laughs> so as y'all are seeing right here, this is Rodeo's onboard audio. I love this so much. Oh my gosh, this is so good. So yeah. Yeah, this is their onboard audio for Rodeo. This really adds up to the whole ride experience on this. And they did it so well. I love this so much. All right, time to go see some spoos. It's time for another ride in the cave. Let's hit it. Got done with cave. Such a fun, enjoyable, relaxing ride. Yeah, some of the stuff that I've seen on my last ride on the cave were pretty much the exact same thing. Like, no speedwalker on the swing, no music at the beginning of the ride, all that stuff. Yeah, they've basically been the exact same. That's the last time I've seen it. So, anyway, yeah, it's basically the same thing. So, I'm going to go get my ride on mine train. And then, see what my last ride of the night will be. Stay tuned. Alrighty, so we are here at Runaway Mine Train, and they did something completely different. Yeah, they actually added in dividers, whether on the left, your flash pass, and on the right, you are main entrance. So yeah, I'm flash pass. I am heading my way up. Yeah, great job, Six Flags, for doing something like this. Really helps a lot. Let's ride. Alrighty, so I just got done with Runaway Mine Train. Very fun, enjoyable mine train. I love it so much. So now, I'm going to go get on one of my last threats of the night, Mr. Freeze, and I'm going backwards this time. And if I have time, I might hit up Judge Roy Scream before park close. So, we'll see. Let's hit it. Alrighty, I got Freeze Reverse Blast done. Such a fun ride so yeah i still prefer forwards but backwards is still a fun one so anyway i think i'm gonna be on my way to jet Roy scream for the last ride of the night so anyway let's head right over there if it's not open then i'm going to skyscraper 
let's go anyway. And our last ride of the night is Judge Roy Scream. Let's get ourselves a wooden coaster night ride. Let's go. No freaking wait. What now, baby? What now? Alrighty, so I just got done with my last ride of the night on Judge Roy Scream. It was a very fun ride of, of the front row. Simply enjoyed it and such a fun day here at Six Flags Over Texas. Out of all the hours I had with this day here. So I really enjoyed my time here. So yeah, anyway, so the next piece of content I got coming soon to Custer Floyd is the solar eclipse event here at Six Flags Over Texas. So anyway, if you are interested in the solar eclipse event, I will post a link down in the description below if y'all really want to see some good stuff here. So if y'all are interested, I'll post the link down in the comment section below and well, in the description box. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this video, y'all. So if y'all like what y'all see here on Crystal Floyd, be sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe so you won't miss out on any content coming soon to the channel. And I thank you all so much for watching. And there is a big splash. So anyway, yeah, if y'all enjoy it, be sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And y'all know what to do. Y'all keep it thrilling.